the purpose of this website was several things. One, the school improvement committee at my school had become basically a place for people to uh, air very petty grievances and kind of rehash old arguments over and over and over again. And our new principal was really disappointed at the types of conversations that were being had in school improvement uh, team meetings on a monthly basis. And I'm a new member of the group, and I kind of knew going in that it had a reputation for being pretty ineffective. And I went in, basically, no one else in my department wanted to, wanted to sit on the committee, and I guess it, it was my turn. And I went in kind of with that idea that I was going to try and make a difference, and pretty quickly realized that, no, I wasn't really going to make a difference. So when the opportunity came um, in talking with the new principal, I suggested that we create a website to foster a higher level conversation amongst the entire school about things to change um, and how to improve our school. And I'm very convinced that all of the intellectual capital you need to reform a school is right within the walls of the school, but that we oftentimes fall into the idea of the um, expert being someone who is from 50 miles away or farther. As long as you're 50 miles away or farther, you have some sort of uh, gift or knowledge that we should pay you to come to our school and share. And I've been through so much um, like that in terms of how to improve the school or new um, methods or ideas or all this kind of stuff that's just been such a waste of time. But the things I hear people sharing around my school are very cool ideas and should be shared. So I came up with this idea. And what we set out to do as a group was to create a website that was um, mindful of the fact that I teach in a very tech-phobic faculty. Um, and they also are very quick to think, oh, one more thing I've got to do, and not really see the opportunity. So we as a group wanted to set out to make a website that was very clean and very easy to use and was mindful of those parameters. So the site opens up with this um, created with Google Sites, and this part of the website is actually open to anybody who is on the Caldwell County Schools um, Google Apps domain, and it's basically just a little introductory splash page uh, to kind of get people thinking about what they want to talk about. And we included some videos just to give some kind of audio video um, spark to it, and a nice animation um, that is a, a summary of a Sir Ken Robinson talk about um, where education has come from and where education should go to. A um, little bit of text just explaining kind of the purpose of all of this. And then a an embed of the video that kind of got everything started. I shared this with my principal um, as an idea of things that the school could be doing and he really liked it and wanted uh, to spread that out to more of the faculty. And so this is sort of the, the starting point for ideas about things. Um, this is a clip from the PBS show Need to Know, and it talks about this school-based school, -based school uh, reform where teachers were in a very um, poor performing school and they just decided they were going to do something about it and, and they became empowered. They basically empowered themselves and turned the school around and um, now have a really excellent school that is kind of an example of what can be done when, when teachers actually um, work together and work together on a common vision for what the school could be. And so this was to serve a lot of purposes, but one, it was just to kind of get people to realize that they could stop complaining and start actually um, working together. So from here, I 
kind of created um, some links to things, and I'll talk about a couple of these that are a little less important, but um, before getting to the kind of the heart of the matter. So uh, there's a link here to uh, return back to our school homepage, so trying to leave a breadcrumb trail. And then created a page that was um, to give a bunch of uh, resources, so some general education resources, some subject area resources, and then a place for other types of resources that don't, that don't fit well. And these are really kind of those things that we're encountering in the media um, that are really different ways of looking at what we do. Um, so there's this discussion of should everybody go to college, which is kind of very um, radical right now since we're moving to the common core and and the idea that everyone should go to college or some sort of type of uh, post high school education. Um, another one about how telling kids how smart they are um, kind of hurts their performance, um, one of those non-intuitive things. Uh, a discussion of how math should be learned or, or taught. And um, then another clip from that PBS show about how one school actually embedded physical education throughout the entire curriculum in order to increase uh, test scores. So these things were designed to kind of get people thinking about really different things, different ways of looking at, at schools and, and school issues. I also included a uh, screencast of how to write on a blog, and that really gets to the heart of what the uh, website is all about. And so I wanted to create something for those people in my school that are not real uh, tech savvy to be able to write on the blog, even though it's it's no more difficult than just writing on a word processor. Uh, I figured that they would want to uh, have some sort of guidance as to how to do that. And that brings us to the heart of the website, and that is three blogs that are all created around the goals that have been set forth in our school improvement plan. And the school improvement plan is one of those things that the school improvement committee works on very feverishly once a year, gets it together, and then it gets signed off on and put in a file somewhere, and that's it. And that was something that our new principal was decidedly against, um, that it was not going to be just put away and then brought back out next year for us to rehash and, and rediscuss. He wanted that to be an ongoing part of what we do as teachers. So in discussions with him, I kind of said, you know, we could set up blogs that would allow people to kind of put forth their ideas, discuss things, and have a, a higher order conversation about school improvement, something that had long-term vision. He was all for it. Um, the one stipulation that he wanted was that this was going to be closed only to school faculty so that it wasn't something that the general public could see uh, so that we could have a little bit more freedom to discuss very different ideas. And so uh, the nice thing about using Blogger from Google is that you can do exactly that. You can limit the, uh, limit the blog to only those people that you authorize. And so that gave lots of um, ability to control who was being talked to and seen. And so uh, the first blog um, dedicated to the academic growth part of our school improvement program. And I was getting a little frustrated because I presented this to school improvement team, and it was kind of, um, I don't know, it was a little bit of a dismissive experience for me. Uh, I was introduced as, you know, I was going to talk to them about how they could use Google Docs in their classroom, and I was going to, uh, the exact words were, I was going to share a little something about Google Docs. And, you know, it's real hard in my school to, for people to uh, kind of, listen sometimes to me it's I get written off as like the little tech geek and I'm gonna share a little something and you know it's just technology and they don't really have to worry about it so I started writing some stuff and, and trying to set some good examples so this was the first post I did on this website um, and 
I wanted to show, you know, put a picture, include some links, and just start a conversation, you know. Start, give an idea of what you think, and then ask some questions for people to respond to. And I was getting a little discouraged because nobody was even joining the blog, let alone um, writing anything to it. And then yesterday, I started seeing that people were starting to join and they were starting to write their own things about, well, you know, what if we did this? And so that gives me a little bit more hope that people are actually starting to embrace it. Now, granted, it's not the people from the school improvement team. It's the people in my department because I've been talking this up. And when they start talking to me about ideas, I say, you know, that's a good discussion to put up on the blog. And I hope that they're going to start kind of picking up some momentum with this. So I include a link back to that main page as a breadcrumb so that we could go back and forth. And you can see that there is a different blog for each one. Um, and I even showed people how to do comments. And so I'm starting to get some comments on some of these posts is definitely showing that the conversation is starting to be continued. And each time I check, there is more. there are more people who are joining the blog now. I don't have great data yet from the stats page on Blogger as to how much people are looking, but it's one of the nice features about this for accountability purposes. We can actually look up stats and see for the week where we're getting more and more page views. So that'll be interesting data to share with the principal as far as the usefulness of it. Um, the great thing that I have is I have a principal who is 100% behind this idea. He uh, talked of it very um, complimentarily uh, in the school improvement committee meeting and kind of made it pretty clear that this is what he was looking for. This is what he wanted. Um, and what he expects the school improvement team to be pushing to their departments. So the last thing that I wanted to include was, you know, we're constantly being bombarded with the idea that we should be data-driven, data-driven, data-driven. And unfortunately, I think that um, in education right now, data-driven means here's your number target, make your numbers hit that target. And really what data driven means is that when you are thinking about doing something you look at research that's been done on that and see how effective it's going to be and a lot of times the things that we want to do are things that feel like they would be good but there's no data to support them um, things like learning styles theory which you know education embraced wholeheartedly because it felt good it felt like it was something that was that should be done, but there isn't any research data to support it. There's, in fact, the research data actually says that you are not an effective learner if you're taught to your self-identified learning style, that you learn much more effectively being exposed to teachers that teach in a variety of different ways, and that the adherence to teaching you in whatever your self-identified learning style is, is actually counterproductive. So I wanted to include places where teachers could do some primary research and then they could link to those articles and, and get new ideas and, and things like that. So I put up a couple of links. One was to educational leadership. And then there's another one here that is um, the American, American Education Research Journal. And, you know, with the idea in mind that people would start to become not only teachers, but they would become researchers and that they would look at different ideas and, and post some ideas about that. And then I know some people already have those, so I included a resource suggestion form using Google Forms, which just allows anybody to say, hey, you know, I think this should be included. This is a really good resource for research. And that um, allows them to feel a little bit more like they are part of the community as a, as a learner and um, that they're empowered to kind of share those ideas with people. And that was really the main purpose of this website was to try and empower the faculty 
to make changes because our school is um, like most schools it, it has problems and problems that frustrate teachers and that lead to discussions of well they do this and we need this and as my principal said we have to stop talking about they and them and start putting all of our conversations in terms of we because we has to be the whole school not just little factions within it and so that is the website that we put together and in hopes that we spark some of this uh, sense of community and empowerment of teachers in my high school.